what angle is a fifth of it is complement. Learners in most cases, they normally misfire. You will find some who will get one out of five times 90, and they get it wrong. The question is very clear, saying what angle is a fifth of it is complement. It's just one part out of five parts of it is complement. So you need to be very steady. Don't hurry. First understand the question, then you jot down or you write down something which will not be crossed out. So first analyze the question. What angle is a fifth of it is complement? So that the angle should just be a fifth of it is complement. I'm going to use the easiest method here. However much there are many methods, but we shall get at this. Uh, we shall arrive at the same answer. So let me have my table to easily interpret it. So, top up, take your time. There is time for reading the question. Analyze it before you write down what you have analyzed. What angle is a fifth of it is complement? What angle is a fifth of it is complement? Therefore, you can start by knowing it is Complement. Since we don't know it is complement, neither the angle, we shall assume or let. Let it is complement be, for instance, x. Once the complement is x, that the angle is just a fifth of it is complement. So what angle is a fifth of it is complement? If the angle is, uh, if the complement is x, then the angle is just a fifth. That's one part out of five parts of it is complement. That's now a fifth x. So when you get it is complement plus the angle, you must get 90 degrees. These are complementary angles. So when you get the angle plus it is complement, you must get 90 degrees. So we shall now solve. When we get x, that is the complement, plus the angle, that is a fifth x. This one gives us 90 degrees. Don't forget the units. These are angles. So we shall solve this. There are many methods of solving this, but I think we can go with the easiest. We can decide to give x a whole uh, one because every whole number has a denominator as one. Then we can also give this 90 a one to make them fractions. Thereafter, we shall get the lowest common denominator or what we call the least common multiple of the denominators. The least common multiple of the denominators. So the least common multiple of the denominators here is 5. So once we have identified the least common multiple of the denominators, we decide, since this is an equation, we can multiply every term by the least common multiple of those 
fractions of the denominators. So we call it LOCD. So the least common denominator is going to be five. Some people call them LOCM. So we shall have x out of one times five. Because it's an equation. Plus a fifth x times five, which is equal to 90 degrees times five. You multiply all the terms by the least common denominator. So when we get x out of one times five, we shall get five x. Then plus, this one we can put their brackets, a fifth x times five. We can cancel this. This five can be divided by five once, and it can also, this five can also be divided by five, and you get one there. So here we shall have plus one x times one. You will still get one x, which gives us, now, for me, I can multiply it mentally, but as a candidate, you may not. But those ones who are very good at mental work and multiplication table, you'll find that this answer is got very fast. So if you are not very good at multiplication table, you can work out from a side. Five times zero degrees is zero. And five times nine, you'll get 45. So 90 degrees times five, we shall end up with 450 degrees. I proceed on my right. So, 5x plus 1x, we get 6x. Which gives us 450 degrees. So, at that point, we shall need to divide both sides by the coefficient, by six, by six. By six ones, by six ones. There must be evidence of cancellation. By six, goes, six goes into six ones, and it goes into 45. Uh, around 70 times, and that is 42. You remain with the three. This three is taken to the next digit there, and this one becomes 30. 30 divided by 6, you will end up with 5. There is our category there, which is not cancelled. So our x alone gives us 75 degrees. Back to the question. What does the question want? What angle is a fifth of it is complement? What we want is the angle, but not the complement. Therefore, the angle, which is a fifth it is complement, is here. The way we made our table. So the angle is supposed to be By five ones, five goes into seven ones. You remain with the two. That cut two is taken to the next digit, written in a smaller way, so that we don't create another number here. This is now 25. 25 divided by five is five. So the hour degree is left there. There are far. 
1 times 15 degrees, we shall end up with 15 degrees. Therefore, the angle, which is a fifth, it is complement, is 15 degrees. There are other methods. Uh, maybe I can state one of them, and you see which one is easier. So, the angle, which is a fifth, its complement is 15 degrees. So, if the angle is 15 degrees, to get it is complement, we shall have also now to multiply 15 degrees by 5. Then we shall get it is complement. When you check, 15 degrees times 5 will end up with 75 degrees. Let me write the second method there before we look at another number. So, with such questions, you can note them somewhere, note any answer, then you try them yourself. If you can try those questions by yourself at your free time, and you see what answer will you arrive on. If it's correct, then you thank God for that. If it's not correct, please refer to someone who can guide you. So let's have another way. So, you go back to the question, what angle is a fifth of its complement? It means that angle is smaller than its complement. Or, if you start with the bigger one, it can be what angle is five times. Uh, what angle, no. What angle is a fifth of its complement? It means the complement is bigger than that angle five times. So, we can simply say, let the angle, can start with the angle this time. Let the angle be x. Then it is a complement. Is five times that angle. That is the other interpretation. What angle is a fifth of it is a complement. So the complement must be five times it is that angle. You will find that the sum must be still 90 degrees. So when you get that angle plus it is complement, you must get 90 degrees. That is the other interpretation. So when you get x plus 5x, you must get 90 degrees. So 1x plus 5x will end up with 6x, which gives us, 6x gives us 90 degrees. Divide both sides by 6, which is equal to 90 degrees, divide it by 6. By 6 once, by 6 once, by 6 once, by 6 is once you remain with 3. 30 divided by 6, you will get 5. Our x here becomes 15 degrees. Therefore, the angle, which is a fifth, it is complement, is 15 degrees the way we stated it in our table here. So, we have many things to discuss. We're supposed to look at complementary angles, but due to time, I think we shall need
to end on this. So that next time, that will be, I think, Monday, we shall add on. I wish you all the best. I remain Mangen Bernard from Entebbe, Kisubi Savio Junior School. Thank you so much. 